there's a lot of like advertising. I mean, the models that you're seeing right now, it's just become like very saturated. And I think that what's interesting about street culture is because it's got this ability to disrupt. And it's doing things a little bit differently as well. One of the things is community is first. Um, family comes first. We also, less is more, for sure. And that, you know, you have to actually care about something enough to actually be genuine about your efforts. And I think that's the thing that we actually forget sometimes in our daily grind as well. That if you were to do something that really relates to your target demographic, they will really feel that genuine bit of it. And so that's what really counts. And I think street culture, community is first. And because they are able to relate that way and think about their community first, that's how they get that grassroots support. And I think that's what's really important to build that relevance, that brand relevance. And I think brands can learn a lot about that. I think they have to first assess like what their brand stands for and know exactly, I mean like, it's pretty much like going back to marketing, right, the basics. Know who you're talking to, what do they care about, how are they going to relate what they care about genuinely to the target demographic. And I think by taking that itself and applying it in a way that is maybe witty, maybe humorous and adapting it to somewhat, somewhat really connect their brand to the consumer's hearts. I think that will really work. I think that's what street culture really like thrived on because that's how we really like built that community, get more people on and it's a genuine effort, you know? It's not like something that's actually like contrived. We don't really like, you know, go away just because it could be controversial or whatnot. I think that's where the mistakes are always being made. If you try too hard, everyone can see. Every artist has their own distinct style and be it for the visual language, or what they stand for. These are things that brands actually look out for and when they work together with the artists, they actually are engaging their community as well. And I think that's what's really interesting in the collaborations that I see nowadays in terms of like commercial uh, engagements and, and the like. A lot of us rely on these as bread and butter projects and um, I think right now what I'm seeing is a lot more brands endorsing these different creatives on board, be it like artists or musicians or designers. That's a very interesting shift, I feel. Rather than just having them as hands to complete a job for creative work, they are really endorsing them as their identity and their style. That kind of brings them onto the next page and makes the brand more relatable to the community that the artist is part of. So I think that's what's really interesting is happening in Asia right now.